You're looking at that now, you're thinking, yeah, that's that's definitely a pizza crust, right? It's one of the strangest things I've done in a while, and I've done a lot of strange cooking videos. I think this is gonna be good, you know. Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Hope you're well. Today we are making a chicken pizza. Well, not just any pizza. This is a recipe that I've been suggested to make for quite a long time and I think it evolves around the whole concept of keto, like a low carb recipe, because the base of the pizza is made of chicken. No bread, no dough, but hopefully it will taste good dough. Yes. So effectively it's quite like a high protein pizza because the, there's just gonna be like a massive load of meat in the base, whereas the actual original base when you make it as a normal dough is bread, which of course is higher carbohydrates. So you probably won't get all of them out of there, but it's gonna reduce it significantly, hence why I guess this is considered a healthy option. You could do it with like a chicken in a bag and roast it yourself. You can get rotisserie chicken in the rotisserie aisles. In Rotisserie aisles, is that what they call it? They have uh, in the hot chicken counter sections, pre-shredded chicken for ultimate laziness. You can buy chicken mince, but apparently if you make it with that, it'll look a bit more like a burger patty and not really give it that shredded, sort of chewy texture that apparently the shredded chicken will do. My good friend Stuart Ashen style, you can actually get some forms of chicken in a can. Genuinely, we can't really get them that much in the UK, but you could use that and then shred that to use it. I don't, yeah? Oh, marvellous. So a little bit like Ninja Turtle Shredder style, apparently the shredded chicken element is what will enhance it and give it like a real nice texture and chewiness and feel like it's an actual dough. So we're gonna do one of my favorite ways of cooking chicken. We are gonna poach, it sounds so boring, we're gonna poach some chicken breasts. And I don't mean like going in the supermarket, stealing them out of someone else's trolley, like this. In this massive saucepan are some chicken breasts. Run it under a tap. Slam it down and get it going. So what we're doing is basically bringing it up to a simmer. You don't have to do this, but you could put like carrots, celery, uh, like a herb wand, is that what they call it? So that stock will flavor the chicken, but also if I didn't do that, you're still gonna be left with a sort of chicken broth anyway. So by adding those enhancements in there, you can actually reuse that for other recipes. Nice. My tripod is literally about to fall over, but that's, that's basically the gist of it. Oh, there we go, I've got a little spit. That's sometimes why I look at the screen. That is gently bubbling away. So I'm just reducing that heat down and leaving it to a steady simmer for 10 minutes. If you've got sort of larger chicken breasts, I'd probably push it to sometimes up to 15 minutes, but you can check if the juices run clear. Other than that, you've got the chicken to shred and you're left with an amazing broth. Alrighty then. That's actually, that's a massive chicken breast. So I gave it the full 15 minutes. The only other thing to say is do not like go, oh, I'll just turn the heat up, make sure I boil it faster, because that can actually make the chicken tougher. You'll actually end up cooking it more than sort of poaching it. I know that sounds really weird, cooking rather than poaching it, but what we want it to be, it takes a little bit just to get into it. Ugh, it's sort of soft and tender, so it can shred. You see, it's like little bits of pulled pork like that just shred away. Okay folks, here is our shredded chicken. It's about two chicken breasts in there. Um, apparently we need about 300 grams. So for me that worked out about two uh, of the chicken breasts all shredded up. Now we bring it together. Eggs. We add in the chicken. This is some onion and garlic powder, some salt, some pepper. And there's gonna be cheese in the crust. This is some Parmesan and we need about 50 grams of that. I guess the Parmesan is gonna warm and bond just like the roll of the egg. All of that seasoning and the chicken, most importantly, together. You're looking at that now, you're thinking, yeah, that's, that's definitely a pizza crust, right? And I gotta say, it actually smells. I've got the, like, the smell of the onion and the garlic powder, the parmesan as well, and a little bit of chicken stock vibe too. It smells really, really good. It smells like some sort of pasta dish, but no, it's time to shape our crust. Uh, this is a baking sheet lined with uh, some uh, baking parchment, nice and greased just to hold it down, and we shape our base on here. That's actually quite a high power there, but apparently we've got to press it down to make sure there's hardly any gaps. So I don't know if I can just press it. Oh, yes I can. Oh my gosh. With the back of a spoon. <laughs> that is working. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get a perfect circle. It's gonna be a little rustic shaped, but that's absolutely fine. You could buy the pre-made rotisserie chicken, but I do like that we've done that extra effort of flavoring it with the stock as it's cooked. I just can't get over 
how good this smells. It's one of the strangest things I've done in a while, and I've done a lot of strange cooking videos. <laughs> it looks like a big hash brown. I think this is going to be good, you know. Alrighty, I love the little specks of pepper. This is going to go in then. 15 minutes. I think we can actually push it now and brown it, possibly char it slightly. Barry, that is not an excuse to burn it. Because then I guess all of the crust is effectively going to be covered. There's no crust exposed on this because then you've got the potential for it to burn. So you want to drive that flavour and that char to get that flavour in there. Ah! Because if you think about it, mate, that chicken is like twice cooked, isn't it? Think about that. You are, aren't you? You're genuinely thinking about it. Good boy. All right, folks, I've just got it out and it just looks like a massive shredded chicken omelette, honestly. But it smells incredible, even more so now with the baked Parmesan and flavors all infused in there. I had to take it out because the crust side here was starting to brown a little bit and it's going back in again. Topping wise, shove what you want on there, but I am gonna put some of that chicken on there. So I've got a tin of pizza sauce. I've made pizza sauce here on the channel before with chopped tomatoes and basil and a little bit of sugar and salt and garlic, but you can buy it in a tin. I wanna just leave a little bit of that crust exposed and I might regret that, but I wanna stay true to it to remind myself that it is you know, effectively <laughs> chicken. Let's make it look even more like a pizza. Dot on some chunks of mozzarella, pepperoni, some peppers, and then I've got a little bit more of the shredded chicken. All right, I am over the moon with that. Into the oven, and we'll see what it turns out like. See you in a minute. Okay, are you ready, mate? You might have had a sneaky bit of mozzarella off camera, mightn't you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that mozzarella has all nice and bubbled, slightly brown, charred the chicken, charred the peppers, and that pepperoni has released some natural oils. Ugh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> These oven gloves are really hot. Right, we'll let it cool down. I'll take a couple of photos for the thumbnail and uh, we will mange. But before I get it off there, look at that base. It hasn't charred much more at all. It's actually made it look really authentic. That's amazing. I don't think we're gonna get a crunch when we slice through it with a pizza cutter, but that'll do, donkey. That'll do. I am so excited for this. Look at that. Oh. I am not anticipating much of a crusty noise. Oh, it's quite tough though. Oh, yeah, the crust is a little rigid. It's not got a snap or a bite. Oh, but it's firm. Oh my gosh, you wouldn't be, <laughs> you would probably go, pass for a crust on the side like that. <laughs> it does feel really heavy though. Like it feels like a burger. <laughs> I've got to say, look at the bottom of it. That does look like <laughs> a proper pizza. In fact, it's just reverse baked chicken, isn't it? Which sounds like a dance move. Right, here we go. Oh, it's got that stereotypical floppy crust that all Italians crave, apparently. Oh, that is very dense. Wow, that is actually really, really nice. It does not replicate pizza base. Mm. It is basically a chicken burger pizza, but you've taken away that heavy carby base. It has got that chew. I will agree with that, but it is heavy. It is, I mean, you can eat a slice, oh, that's quite filling just to have that amount, but the flavor in there is insane. It's like almost like two toppings on a pizza that's also a crust. Mmm, the crust is really good. It's almost got like a chicken nugget vibe to it. It's, it's actually really, really good. It's just not how I envisaged or hoped it would be. I do not hate that though. And that is a good thing. I really think you should try this. If you're vegan, you probably hate this video anyway, but you could probably try doing it with jackfruit and an egg substitute. Let me know if you want to give that a go, but that would be a completely different experience altogether. It doesn't taste like an omelette though. I'll give it that. That was my biggest fear. Like we kind of like made a frittata. I'm going to pass that folks. If you do try this out, send a photo, share it on your social media platform of choice with me on most of them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and give this video a like. If you enjoyed it, make sure your notifications are turned on. Any recipe ideas, especially quirky ones like this that get my enthusiasm going, keep them coming in. I've got loads to get through and I'll see you again next time. Ciao.
That is a pizza. Hmm. With the base is made of shredded chicken. Oh wow. And extra chicken on top? Yeah. That looks amazing. Oh. Mmm. It's supposed to be like low carb mm. dough alternative. High protein. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, I like it. It's um it's nice. Chickeny. Yeah. Yeah. No crunch though. No. Folks, uh, lights are off, home is away, uh, just starting to wash up. I had another slice of that, and as it was cooler, like you sort of notice a bit more about what's going on. There was real flavor and that chewiness and like that, the pull of the chicken as you bite it. I really want you to try this to see for yourself. Honestly, give it a go and let me know what you think.